Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this TCL40 Next Paper smartphone. So if you just have a quick look around the box, we've just got a bunch of specs there on the back. The slogan inspire greatness on the side there. So let's just snip these little security stickers. So we have the phone sitting here on top of the box in this kind of paper wallet. We put that to the side. So we get SIM tray ejecting pin, contact center sheet and quick start guide. Then we got the 33 watt fast charging brick with the USB port on it. And then the double sided USB-C cable, which seems to be decent length. Could have been a bit longer, but good enough, I guess. Let's pack that all away. So we'll jump straight into the phone and check out the design and build. Peel off this protective sticker. So to the right side, we've got the volume buttons and power button slash fingerprint reader. Nice and clicky. Around the bottom, we've got the headphone jack, microphone, USB-C port and the speaker grill. And then to the left side, the SIM card slash SD card tray slot. So you can have two SIMs there and your SD card. And then around the top, we just have a microphone. We also have the 32 megapixel camera and speaker on the front there. And then this in the opalescent color. We have the 50 megapixel hybrid camera system with flash. And then we got some TCL branding there on the bottom. So let's boot this up. So looking at the display, this is a 6.7 inch LCD display with Next Paper matte technology built into it. 450 nits, brightness and 90 hertz screen refresh rate. So dim's quite low and 450 nits was the peak brightness. So we can just have a look at various things this display can do. We've got this next paper mode, which has this cool animation and it kind of makes the paper more uh, screen, more paper-like. So it kind of dials down the colors, I guess. And then you have another option, which is the e-ink mode. So this is basically just like black and white. And you can see there's no reflection, no glare of the screen because of the next paper technology, or if you want to call it matte display. I have noticed this picking up fingerprints along the way. So if we just jump in, we have various options. We have eye comfort mode, which kind of just changes the hue of the screen. The color temperature, we have vivid and your color and temperature you can pick from here. You can change your refresh rate and then a bunch of different enhancements that kind of make the colors more vivid. So we'll just have a quick look at the colors. And if we have a look at white here, we do have the slight rainbowing effect, which is quite common on matte screens, but it's not as bad as what I've seen on other matte screens. White one, level one. And obviously no HDR capabilities on this display, but the main selling point at the USB for TCL in this smartphone would definitely be the matte display. So, you know, you're getting your anti glare, anti reflection. And I have to say content on here looks absolutely fine. I'm not noticing like the matte rainbow effect too much unless you go looking for it. So if we jump into performance, this phone is rocking the MediaTek Helio G88 and it's got 8GB of RAM with 8GB of expansion RAM and comes with 250GB storage which is expandable up to 2TB. So we'll have a quick look at benchmarks, 429 or Geekbench there, 3D mark we had Wildlife 655 and then Wildlife Extreme 167 so this is a low end chip which was released in 2021 I believe so you know, you're not going to expect anything spectacular. So just browsing around the phone. Not too bad. I mean, 
the usual behavior of a low-end chip apps might take a second or two to load and there's a little bit of lagging here and there but enough to get your daily tasks done if you have the patience when it is needed so you can see apps do take a couple of seconds to load up So if we jump into gaming, I've got Call of Duty Mobile here, highest graphics on this is medium and the frame rate is high. But if you're happy with those settings, that's the most you're going to get out of this chip. And for me, gameplay on Call of Duty anyway was absolutely fine. I didn't notice much stutter or lagging, but that's obviously because the graphics are limited in that sense. Uh, Genshin Impact, I'm going to hit this up to the highest settings. And it was good to see that the phone can actually run this game where as lot other you know low-end chips struggle but after extended use I did notice the phone was heating up quite a bit and the battery was draining drastically and maybe after 15-20 minutes of playing you're gonna start noticing a bit of you know lagging software is TCL UI 5 which is running on Android 13 and then this fingerprint and face unlock and TCL have at least promised one upgrade so Android 14 can be expected and if you look at connectivity we've got NFC, casting, Chromebook connection, nearby sharing, all of that kind of stuff so we also have split screen which is obviously a standard on Android but to showcase in here that it works absolutely fine I've got Chrome and Disney Plus running here Uh, we also have the option of floating windows which is obviously limited to just one so you can only swap you have one at a time you can swap one out or another one which is handy for a little bit of productivity if you're going to be using it for that case and then you have your control panel which has all your bits and bobs you know screen recording your quick actions different display settings which you can obviously edit as you choose and then they have this built-in kind of news feed if you swipe from the middle of the screen down and it just gives you like suggested apps and different kind of latest news feeds that you can check out and we also have a bunch of bloatware apps that I noticed that came with the phone preloaded so you know there's kind of just random apps there and then you have J Notes here this phone is compatible with the TCL T-Pen but I wasn't able to get hold of that so for biometrics there's fingerprint and face scan which work absolutely fine the fingerprint reader takes about a second maybe just less than that and for security we have the usual protection functions We've got find my device you know google play protect uh, system updates for security patches so looking good security wise so for audio this phone does have stereo speakers and it has what they're calling 3D boom sound, so we'll check that out. This phone has 50 megapixel main camera, 5 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel macro around the front we have a 32 megapixel camera and just looking through the camera app your usual stuff here, high pixel, stop motion, jumping into video settings, highest is 1080p at 30 frames per second and then you have your usual other options, photo size, 50 megapixel with a high pixel option so we'll just have a quick look at some footage and pictures that I've taken with the phone and you can be the judge
for battery this phone is rocking a 5010 milliamp battery which supports 33 watt fast charging you can see you have battery saving options you have normal saving mode super saving mode and then you know you can choose to see the battery percentage and from my experience for i've been using this phone heavy testing and using it for benchmarks gaming everything else that i've been testing on this phone and i'm on day three now and still on around 20 percent so the battery on here is quite good in conclusion i have to say the usb of this phone is the matte display and for me on that side of things it has been absolutely fine you might get a bit of problems with the viewing angles which might hinder the screen in direct sunlight especially but there's no reflection no glare and that is uh, definitely a positive for me so using the phone outside was absolutely fine and that matte effect is quite good i do like that cameras on here are decent obviously can't expect anything spectacular for a phone around at this price and performance wise the chip is capable of handling most things but like i said extended use might hinder the performance but for daily tasks you're going to be fine you might not get that kind of snappiness that you'd get with higher chips you're getting what you pay for anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next one take care